This project is aimed at trying to understand how a particular gene called PAC2 is involved in cancer and cancer development, cancer progression. We know that this gene is involved in the control of normal processes in the cell. These same normal processes are deregulated in cancer cells. What we're going to do is to look at that gene and try to focus on the gene, its protein that it encodes, and how to alter that protein to see if we can someday develop anti-tumor drugs to target that protein in a deregulated cancer cell. We're lucky enough to have a collaboration with Dr. Jun Ling at the Commonwealth Medical College. He and I met at a meeting that was designed specifically to bring scientists together to look for common interest. And we found a common interest. At Misericordia, we have undergraduate students that are curious, are willing to get involved in research, and those students can help a lot in the lab do day-to-day -day experiments. At the medical college, they have uh, the scientists that have ongoing projects and instrumentation and uh, funding that can allow the collaboration to produce the best results. If we can understand the structure of PAC2, more specifically the protein PAC2's kinase activity and how it's regulated by phosphorylations, then we could target those phosphorylation sites with anti-tumor drugs. And these anti-tumor drugs could could work against cancers where PAC2 is known to be deregulated, for example, breast cancer and colon cancer. This undergraduate project definitely made me understand the importance for researchers to have collaborations, not only within the biological community, but within different branches of science, which include biochemistry and even ethics. I think all scientists, if you interviewed any scientist, they could point to a mentor in their past, maybe several mentors, but most of us have one mentor that really took us under their wing and got us involved in science. I've always thought it's my job as a professor to do that with undergraduates. So at Misericordia, it's part of our philosophy to involve students in undergraduate research, to give them hands-on work in the lab, practical skills, as well as an understanding of how to develop and do experiments, design experiments. Science is something that a person should be involved with and do, not something they should just learn about in a classroom. It's, it's very cool that we can collaborate with other people. Like I said before, it helps us to uh, communicate with other scientists, and that's what going into the field of biology is all about. So it's very nice that we get to get exposed to that at the undergraduate level. Well, when you think about uh, doing this research and you're in here every day, you have to think about how there's, everybody knows somebody who has suffered from cancer. And being able to be a part of the future of this research is really incredible.